Hello, my name is Lakeisha Boyd, and I am a nursing lecturer in the Department of Nursing at Fayetteville State University. I am also a member of the College of Arts and Sciences African American History Committee, and it is my pleasure to present this presentation on the contributions of African American nurses on behalf of this committee. This topic is very timely when one looks ahead at the fact that the National Nurses Week for 2015 will begin on Wednesday, May the 6th and will end on Tuesday, May the 12th. But since many of our students will not be on campus during this time, we wanted to go ahead and present this presentation on the contribution of African American nurses. According to the most recent Gallup survey conducted in 2014, Americans rate the nursing profession as one of the most ethical and honest. Actually, Americans rank the nursing profession as the most ethical and honest. Nurses have topped the list every year since it was first included in this survey, except for 2001, when nurses ranked second to firefighters. 2001 was also the year that 9-11 happened, but otherwise Americans have consistently viewed the nursing profession as the most honest and the most ethical. And although it is a great thing that most Americans value the nursing profession, it is important for us to look at the diversity that is in nursing. When you look at the national demographics, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, ethnic and racial minority populations make up 37 percent of the U.S. population and this was as of 2012. And in fact, minority groups are projected to become the majority in this country by the year 2043. So as the nation is getting more and more diverse, the registered nurse workforce does not reflect this. In fact, a 2013 study conducted by the National Council of State Boards of Nursing and the Form of State Nursing Workforce Centers found that nurses from minority groups make up only 19% of the registered nurse workforce. A further breakdown of some racial and ethnic minorities is listed as well. And so as you can see that as the American population continues to get more and more diverse, the nursing population or the nursing workforce is not keeping up with this trend. You may wonder why this is important. According to the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, they found that a diverse nursing workforce will be better equipped to serve a diverse patient population. Diversity in the nursing profession is greatly, greatly important because when patients come to see us, whether it's in the hospital setting or they see the nurse on their job or they see the nurse at their school, to see nurses that look like them that come from similar backgrounds and have similar experiences to them makes patients feel more comfortable and makes patients feel as if this nurse is going to understand me, understand my concerns, 
understands what's going on with me and my family. So diversity in the nursing workforce is very, very important. And so we want to take a moment to salute some of the pioneers in the nursing workforce. So when you think about the contribution that African Americans have made to the nursing profession, most often um, people think of Mary Eliza Mahoney, who was the first African American to study and work as a professionally trained nurse in the United States. Or they may think of Susie King Taylor, who was the first African American nurse in the Army. And although these pioneers are very, very important for us to recognize, I wanted to take a moment to talk about a nurse that perhaps many people may not be as familiar with. And so as I begin to think about highlighting the contributions of an African American nurse that many people may not be as familiar with, I thought about Jesse Sleet. And so picture that is the year 1900 and in New York City they are finding that they have high incident rates and death rates from tuberculosis also known as TB in the black population. Now the healthcare professionals at this time know that tuberculosis although it is a contagious disease it is also a preventable disease. And so there was a charity called the Charity Organization Society that really looked at tuberculosis in New York City. And what they found is despite all of their efforts, the incident rates and the death rates from tuberculosis in the black population continued to rise and continued to get worse. And so their general secretary, a Dr. Edward Devine, recommended that the society hire a district nurse that's from the same population so that this nurse would have a better experience with engaging this high-risk population. And so this society had never ever worked with or had um, blacks associated with their organization and so they were very hesitant to do uh, to um, take up Dr. Devine's recommendation. They were very hesitant about it and in actuality they were not willing to pay for the salary of such a nurse but Dr. Devine was able to find a rich philanthropist that was willing to pay for a black nurse's salary. And so they searched and searched and they found Jesse Sleet. And so Jesse Sleet became the first black community health nurse employed by New York City. And she started in October 1900. Even though Dr. Devine had found someone to pay Mrs. Sleet's salary. The society was still very hesitant about this experiment and so they were only willing to fund this for two months. And so they told Ms. Sleet, you have two months to see what you can do about this problem with tuberculosis in the black population here in New York City. So Ms. Sleet, she took up the challenge and in fact, she visited 41 sick families and she made over 156 calls during that time. And she was able to affect the rates and the death rates of tuberculosis in this population. She did such a good job that the organization offered her a permanent position. So she became the first black community health nurse in New York City and they made that position a permanent one for her. And in fact, 
Sleet wrote an article entitled A Successful Experiment and she had that article published in the first volume of the American Journal of Nursing. And so in conclusion, I wanted to just to let you know that although nursing schools teach cultural competency to all nursing students, it is important to have representatives from varied cultures and populations within the nursing workforce. Because when patients see nurses that look like them, that sound like them, that come from similar backgrounds and have similar experiences, it is much easier for those nurses to gain the trust of those populations and therefore they can affect positive change within these communities. And because this is a recognized fact, there are strategies to improve the diversity of the nursing workforce on a national level. But I also wanted to take a moment to highlight what we are doing here. Fayetteville State University, as a historically black college and university, we are also contributing to the diversity of the nursing workforce with our nursing program. Students from the Fayetteville State student population have an opportunity to be admitted to the nursing program and so these students many of whom come from diverse populations when they graduate and become licensed and go out and into the nursing workforce they are contributing to the diversity that you see in the nursing workforce. So we at Fayetteville State are doing our part to contribute to the diversity of the nursing population. If you are is interested in the contributions that African Americans have made in nursing, if you are interested in the history of African American nursing, I want to let you know that the Chestnut Library does have a library guide on this subject and you can locate it from the Chestnut Library website and this library guide was put up by our assigned librarian for the nursing department Miss Jan Whitfield and I thank her very much for putting this library guide up that shows all of the resources and references that we have in the Chestnut Library about the history of African American nurses. These are the references that I use in this presentation and I want to thank you very much for taking an opportunity to view and listen to this presentation and I hope that you have learned something about the contributions that African Americans have made in nursing and that you will continue to support the efforts of the Fayetteville State's Department of Nursing to increase diversity in the nursing workforce. Thank you very much. You have a great day.